and hello everybody little late night video here I hadn't planned on doing this video but it's been gnawing at me really hard you know I have reached um, just an outstanding level of peace for the most part of my life I've experienced all of this growth I've done all this shadow work I've faced all these demons And that doesn't mean that the challenges stop. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and drop down there and hit the subscribe button because there's going to be some interesting things come up that will help you navigate your experience, your journey. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. You are the best of the best. The encouragement, the support that you show is simply divine and I give you so much gratitude for that I want you to go ahead and like the video I want you to share the video because it might help somebody else and I would also like for you to leave a comment um, let me know what kind of things you're going through let me know what kind of things you notice and if you do have a critique I'm open to those as well let's just try to keep it friendly okay because I do have a little bit of an ego here so what you talking about, Mandolin? What I'm talking about is even though I've done all of this work, I've faced so many demons and, and I have really, things started looking up and I had somebody very close to me that got very sick and I had to help take care of them. That put everything on hold. Um, my internet connection put everything on hold. Just the daily thing of trying to get settled put everything on hold. So finally, you know, the, the loved one is doing much better and taking care of themselves now. And so I wanted to get back to work. And lo and behold, what happens is I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go to the store and my van doesn't want to go. So, oh boy, there's my transportation. A few years ago, I would have had a meltdown. It would have been the end of the world. I would have had two or three people making them as uncomfortable as they could possibly be because this was the end of the world for me. And, and it didn't matter what they had on. This would have been the most important thing in the world. There would have been crying. There probably would have been throwing some things, as in tools. I've done that before. But instead, um, I looked at it did what I could do and got in touch with my son and says look I'm going to need some help he said can't do it right now I said okay as soon as you can I need your help though and when I needed to go to the store my friend loaned me the Mercedes so even in a time of need uh, I kind of feel like the time of need was made a little more comfortable a way was provided now a couple of points had I gone push it on my son and say no you get here right now then that wouldn't have been very fair would it because I'm asking him to stop his life to help me it would have been selfish and also we have to think what do other people have going on in their lives so I've remained cool and calm. Hopefully it'll be resolved soon. I hope in a good way. Everybody kind of keep your fingers crossed for me. We're hoping it's just going to be a fluid change. But in that time, another thing that I've been going through, and especially for me, I realized that mine is an astrological alignment too going on with me. But the sun, uh, just what they call the space weather, I encourage everybody to watch Suspicious Observers. It helps you understand. Uh, we're getting blasted with energy waves and that does affect us physically and then we've got all of this change going on for me my natal Jupiter where Jupiter is at when I was born is squaring where Jupiter is at now and I'm gonna be honest with you I was looking I'm not really sure how long this is going to go on again I am NOT an astrologer I'll put a question in the peace dealer. We'll see if he gets to it. And, uh, but not only that, I've been having like the flashes, terrible headaches, um, a lot of 
purging, releasing, which comes out energetically and it can come out through your bowels, through sweat, um, you know, through your urine. So dealing with that and then really the headaches that have just been really the nausea and light sensitivity. It was a lot like a migraine, but it wasn't like the migraines I used to have. So I go in to look and I'm like, oh, well, wow, this is creating a lot. And I also go to my higher aspect and I ask some questions. Um, first one, is this anything to be alarmed about? Is there a physical issue that I need to address? No. Uh-oh, there's a bug in here. And, and so there wasn't a physical... And basically they said, this is part of your process. You said that you wanted this growth and this expansion. You got this astrological aspect of Jupiter squaring Jupiter. Uh, flow with it. We can't take the challenges out of our life. Because if we take the challenges, there's going to be nothing to guide us towards the lesson that we're learning or towards the blessing that's waiting for us. We don't look inward if we have no challenges to see what can be improved, what can be healed. So while I sat on the porch today with my neighbor, and I says, wouldn't it be nice to just have a period of time where there's no drama, there's no crisis? And you know, it would, but would it really? Because then our growth would stop. Realize that the discomforts and the challenges in your life have a greater meaning. Reach out to others. Part of the reason that I'm sharing is so that people know that they're not the only ones experiencing these things. Your symptoms, your experience may not be just like mine, but you're still going through something. And if you are still going through something, you are growing, you are learning, you are expanding. And for that, you've got to be grateful. And it sounds absolutely insane to say be grateful for hardships, be grateful for challenges. But that's exactly what you should do because those things help push you in the right direction. Gentle guidance. Sometimes they're all out explosions of guidance, but the gentle guidance. I didn't freak out over my van. I didn't have a meltdown. So I've changed that and I never would have known I've changed that if I hadn't had this happen. So cutting this one short like I said and I just want to say thank you so much for being with me again leave a comment down below my email will be in the description would love to hear what's going on take a few moments for yourself realize your own self-worth show yourself some love it makes it a lot easier to love the others out there that sometimes are very hard to love and just take a moment for a breath. I'm feeling good about settling back in to my own energy and sharing with you. So until next time, bye y'all.